Another place you can ply it is, you know, something that isn't going to be moved, like the washer and dryer. So how much of the product are you going to ply? I mean, well, it, you only that. need very little. You can hear it going through. That's more than enough. If the roach is back there, they're going to find it. Remember, I told you it's advantageous, all right, for for us to have this problem because it allows us to go where the roach is to be able to put it. So we're going to stick it in here in this hole under here. He's like, you guys are still here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. I'm messing in the house. Hey guys. Hey, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, well, we've got that hole that I said it was advantageous to have it. This is where it comes handy. So you can see if I can if I can squeeze it, you can see the product in there. Yeah. See in the little hose? Yes. So it's basically just squeezing in there. So about four or five puffs. Doesn't need too much. We're using micro dosages. Uh, actually, we're not going to move it. Uh, we don't need to move it. We if there's a problem there, we're going to use a third product that we can use inside appliances. And we're going to use a third vein called. And this is why I wear my knee pads because we're constantly on our knees. This job isn't about spraying. This job is about seeking and destroying. So what we do is we can go inside a place like this refrigerator where we can't, you know, we can't get to it. We could probably remove the front screen. There's insects in the back. So we can remove this in here. As you can see, there's always dirt or stuff, but we can take it and we can just puff it into the void. If there's a roach in there, the roach is going to find it. There's no need for us to be putting product everywhere in the house. So also, see that see that little tiny hole where we couldn't stick the hose in there, we couldn't stick the, anything in there where that void is? Well, guess what? We can use it in there. You don't need too much. Just a little puff is enough. You don't need to put a ton of this product out. We're going to go back around the kitchen. Let's go back the other way. That's right. This is a dust. So this is a dust bait. So we're using three different baits to deal with this problem. It allows you to put it. It's a dust, yes. Um, so we can use it anywhere. There's a void, a crack and crevice. We're putting it back there. We're going back across the kitchen. So you're using like a three different modes of action over there. We're using three modes of actions with three different palettes of, of taste. So if they don't prefer one thing, they'll prefer the other. So all to one product alone, the mistake people make is they use one chemical, one product, thinking that's going to get the control. You've got to deal with what the insect is going to want to eat, and sometimes you don't know if they're changing their palates. They could go out and prefer one thing one day and another thing the other. So now we've got, you know, this product will last in there, could last up to two years, actively working. The gel bait is going to work for two weeks. The granular bait is going to work between four and six months. Little disc, the product is in here. And what we do is, we take the, put the little glue source, we're going to put it somewhere in the cabinet.